Hey guys, all good? So, check out another video here for you about a curiosity about Tupac that few know. But first, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to help with growth. Let's go. Today, I'm going to talk about a real story behind a scene from Tupac's movie All Eyes on Me, which took place in Marin City, California, where a child ended up losing their life. The scene doesn't exactly depict how it happened. In the late 80s, Tupac moved to Marin City, California, because of his mother's drug addiction. During his time there, he sold drugs, rapped, and you might have even seen one of his pre-fame shows in Marin City at a town festival. It was there that Tupac was discovered by Layla Steinberg, who got him signed with Digital Underground, and the rest, as they say, is history. Many in Marin City take pride in knowing that Tupac took his legendary first steps in rap in Marin City, but many also feel anger towards him because of this incident here. In August 1992, less than a year after Tupac released his debut album and a few months after he starred in the movie Juice, during the peak of his life, the time when he became a feature at an annual event in the city he lived in, Tupac went there to show love in his area, but things turned out differently. Tupac attended an event in Marin City to celebrate the city's 50th anniversary, an annual outdoor festival. Many saw Tupac briefly, and reportedly, the confusion began because a DJ named Demetrius Striplin reported that Tupac was complaining about Marin City. Tupac spoke in interviews about his life in Marin City. He talked about coming from the streets and selling drugs. Tupac described what his life was like there, and some individuals didn't like the rapper talking about the city's ignorance. These individuals went after Tupac. Then, the rapper was assaulted and fell to the ground. Tupac pulled out a gun, which fell, and he shouted for his brother, Mopreem, to grab the gun. His brother took it and fired several shots, hitting a three-year-old boy who was riding a bicycle in the park near a school, who later died. When Tupac returned to his community, proud of his achievements, everyone was around him, showing love. But when the boy was shot, the whole square went after him. Tupac and his brother got into a car and left the scene, but had to wait for the rest of their group who were behind. Many people chased Tupac's car, throwing stones and damaging the rapper's vehicle. One of the outlaw's members said Tupac threw himself on him to protect him. Shortly after, they managed to leave the scene by turning into a wrong street, but the square's people still managed to surround the car. Tupac and his friends were not harmed at that time because the police arrived and intervened in the chaos. They ended up being released without any charges. The boy's mother filed a lawsuit against Tupac, which was quickly settled when his record label paid between $300,000 to $500,000 to the family. However, the police couldn't find concrete evidence. As a result, the rapper was acquitted, and the murder remains unsolved to this day. The only connection found was that the gun used to take the child's life was registered in Tupac's name, but he was not arrested. Many people question how Tupac dealt with this incident since he didn't attend the trial and mentioned the boy in one of his songs, but never publicly addressed the issue. There have been reports that he suffered greatly from this situation and even cried, especially because he knew the boy's family. This festival, which occurred annually and was in its 50th edition, has never been held again since the incident. On the day of Tupac's death, people from Marin City were deeply shaken by the loss of the rapper, especially the residents of the neighborhood where Tupac lived. However, when asked if she forgave Tupac for her son's death, the boy's mother reportedly showed no emotion, according to witness accounts. That was today's video. Whether you knew about this incident or not, leave your opinion in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to not miss any content and leave a like to help the channel grow. Thank you, and see you next time.